Scorpio, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. And in the extended, I will go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Also, if you are interested in the extendeds, I have a Patreon account that has a membership for you that includes all of the extendeds for the same price as one extended. So if it's something that you're interested in, I highly recommend you check it out. The individual and the Patreon account is down below. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it really is beneficial for you. You'll get notified all things Scorpio. I'll pull some oracle cards. We'll hop right into your tarot reading. Fellow travelers, support is all around you. Grounding. Go deep. Explore your roots. Mystic healer. Healing energy flows through you. And what you're not seeing is taking shelter. The answers are within. I'm seeing um, stable, grounded feeling. I'm seeing manifesting. I'm seeing balance. I wouldn't be surprised if the Six of Pentacles comes out. It's been coming out a lot anyway, but this specific energy so far um, is very balanced and I, I balanced in a way that it's almost like your energy had been depleted and now it's so incredibly balanced so it's like the universe is like putting energy back into you Scorpio I'll lay the tarot cards down and then I'll go over them justice well pretty close to the six of pentacles they both have the scales of justice on them world Ace of Cups, Hermit, King of Swords, Judgment, and the overall energy is the Three of Cups. I feel like this is about celebration, about celebrating the things that you have overcome. One, two, three, four out of the seven are major arcana. This balance, this is like things are finally coming together is what I'm feeling. Finally coming together. Finally working together. Finally your emotions and your, your finances or your, your living situation or your relationships. Like finally things are working out for you. Finally after, you know, all of this deception, all of this trauma, all of these issues, finally things are working out. Finally coming together. It's like the lies, the deceptions, the the things that were go that were negative in your life are finally starting to leave and find balance. And you come into this with um, this love and joy and happiness, this communication. It's almost like you took a time out and you really communicated with like your inner child. You know, you could have gone through a dark night of the soul, and in this dark night of the soul, like, you healed any childhood wounds. You did a lot of self-reflection, taking care of yourself, realizing who it is that you wanted to become and the actions that you needed to take to become the person that you want to become. No more bullshit. No more um, lying to yourself. No more lying to other people. I feel like this could be a person that has overcome addiction, Either you or somebody you know has overcome addiction. And I feel like you might have been connected to people that were sabotaging you. Or while you, you were in your addiction, you sabotaged other people. And so it's like now you're going to make amends for that. I feel that there's like two timelines I'm tapping into here. This is like both sides of the spectrum. You know... The, the lying, the stealing when you are in addiction to be able to get your fix. This is like the stress and agony of being put out and losing everybody and everything. But it's also in the same regard on the other side when you have to remove somebody from your life because of their addiction. 
you know, how awful you feel about having to do that and removing and cutting ties with this person because you care about them so much. And it was like you, you had to do what you had to do to be able to overcome these situations. And it's like, you know, if you were addicted, you did go to rehab, you did do what you needed to do. You, you're paying your amends, you're doing the 12 steps, you're doing everything that needs to be done. And if you, and you know, you're finding love and compassion for yourself and for the people around you and you're not resisting um, honesty and truth and happiness anymore. It's almost like you denied yourself in all of your addiction. You denied yourself true love. You denied yourself true happiness. You thought that being addicted was, you know, the happiest you could ever be, but it was just a physical sensation. It wasn't an emotional connection with anybody. You know, that emotional gratification and emotional connection and emotional um, happiness, that feeling is more powerful than any physical addiction. And that's what really helps a lot of people get over it. Um, also, on the other spectrum, you know, you were patient with the person who was addicted. It was like, yes. You, you did what you needed to do and you stopped giving them money and you stopped helping them and you stopped feeding the addiction and you removed them from your life and you knew, you knew at some point they would come back around when they, when they had come full circle and when they had realized the issues that they had done to make their amends. Oh, that is freaking amazing. So the only card that can overcome the devil card is the strength card. And I pulled the devil card, and then the strength card came right out after it. I love it when that happens. That is the only card that can overcome the devil card. And this card is about addiction and too much of something. So I feel like this is about somebody who was addicted, whether it was you or it was somebody else. This person was able to overcome it, or you were able to overcome this addiction. You were over able to... You were able to overcome it. You were able to see that you couldn't do it alone. They were able to see they couldn't do it alone and that they had control issues and obsessive issues and just anger issues and frustration. And so it's all about finding balance. Finding balance. Okay, Scorpio. In the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it really is beneficial for you. You'll get notified all things Scorpio. Also, if you're interested in a monthly membership to be able to get all of the extended extendeds included, you can click the link below or click the link below for the individual. A couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the title resonates for you, I highly recommend you check it out. And I'll see you over there.